So we all know the series Super Smash Bros. And we all know the cute pink fluff ball, Kirby. And of course we all know his whole moveset and his copy move. But what if I were to tell you that Kirby copied every fighter's moves and turned it into his own moveset? Now of course when I say every fighter, I of course mean only a handful of fighters. In this theory, I am simply going to try and prove that Kirby's entire moveset is a copy of other fighters' moves. And I will only be looking at his Smash 4 moveset, so his flare type move and melee we will not be looking at. But if you really want me to, then boom, it's just like Charizard's Flare Blitz. So now we move on. Let's first look at Kirby's ground moves. As we can see, Kirby will throw a few punches and once he catches an opponent, he will lock them in and throw a fury of multiple punches and rack up a ton of damage. Now if that doesn't look or sound familiar, then let me give you a quick reminder that this is very similar to Little Max Neutral A. As you can see, they are very similar. Now his up A. We are looking for a character that kicks their leg upward starting from the back. The character that I found that does this the closest is Fox. His up A, you have to admit, is very close. Now his side A, down air, back air, back throw, and side smash. The reason I'm looking at these next is because they are all very similar to Jigglypuff. Both of their side A's have them kicking, their down airs have them twirling and pointing out with their feet, back throws have them slamming their opponent into the ground behind them, and their side smash have them lunging forward and attacking with their feet. Now this part will be a bit far-fetched, I will admit. But I am not going to be comparing the look of the attack for their back air, but I will be comparing the damage, and they both do 13%. If you really want me to compare the move itself, then I guess they both attack with their feet? I guess? Now Kirby's down A, which is very similar to Sonic's. They both crouch and swipe with their leg. It's that simple. Now let's move on to his air moves. Starting off with his neutral air, I found that the only character that Kirby related to was Duck Hunt. As you can see, they both spin sideways with their arms and legs pointing outwards. And weirdly enough, they both smile when doing this. And even weirder is Duckon has his evil grin. Like what the hell, man? Next up is Kirby's up air, which strangely enough is pretty similar to Mario's up air. They both kick with their feet upward and do some kind of backflip. Freaking show-offs. And even stranger is Kirby's forward air is comparable to the Me Fighter's forward air. Weird. Now we're at Kirby's special moves. First, let's look at Kirby's neutral special and side special, which are actually very similar to King Dedede's. Both their neutral specials have them sucking up their opponents and having them spit them out if they want. Now again, I will admit this will be a bit far-fetched, but I will not be comparing their move input. What I mean by this is that they both have a hammer attack, but in order to summon their hammer, Kirby is his side B and King Dedede is his down B. But what I am comparing here is the move and their function. Both of them pull out their hammer, and they can build up its energy by holding it in. But if it's charged for too long, then both of them will start to take damage. Now we are looking at Kirby's up special. Now if you couldn't guess it already, but this is very similar to Ike's. I mean, I mean, do I really need to explain why? And last for his specials is his down special, which I found very similar to Bowser's, how they both just slam to the ground and do pretty similar damage. I know that Yoshi also does this, but the reason I said Bowser is because of how heavy he is, and how heavy Kirby probably is when he turns into a thwomp. Next up is Kirby's throws, and the first one we are going to look at is his up throw, and it is actually identical to Charizard's. They both throw their enemies into the air and slam them into the ground. Next is Kirby's forward throw, and this is yet again another stretch, but I found it very similar to Lucas. Now I will admit that it really only looks like Lucas is throwing him on the ground, but then again, he is still throwing them on the ground when he throws them forward. Next character we are comparing is Meta Knight, and I have to admit, I am surprised it has taken us this long to bring him up. But here he is, and we are comparing their down throw. Just like Ike's comparison, I really don't think I need to explain how their down throw is identical. The running A is comparable to Mega Man's, they both spin and move forward, and Kirby's up smash is just like Yoshi's, both use their feet and do some kind of backflip as they do it, and Kirby's down smash is exactly like Peach's, they both twirl around on the ground and hit on both their sides. Finally, there's the final smash, and it undoubtedly is just like Link's. Both final smashes lock their opponent and attack with the plethora of sword swipes. <laughs> now that we have proven that all of Kirby's moves are pretty much carbon copies of the other fighters' movesets, we now need to explain why Kirby did this. And here's how my theory goes. We all know that in every Kirby game, Kirby can't actually attack. The only way he can fight back is if he copies an enemy's ability and uses that to kill his enemies. 
My theory is that Kirby got invited to participate in the Super Smash Bros, and in order to even try and compete, he decided to copy the other participants' moves and make them his own, just so he can fight back against characters like Mario, Link, and Donkey Kong. Now, some of you might be thinking that some of this just doesn't make sense. Like, how do we explain his recovery when Ike wasn't even in the original N64 game? Well, I actually have another theory for this, where I will be explaining the Smash timeline and how it fits the way it does. But I will of course be going over that in a completely separate video. So there you have it, my theory on how Kirby's moveset is just a clone of other fighters' moves. If you enjoyed, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and enemies. If for some reason theories, reviews, and top 10s aren't your thing, then I livestream every Friday and Saturday, so make sure to not miss those. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day.